Well, there we are, guys. Another one. People, this is probably going to be one of the best COD videos you've ever seen. Expect well, definitely on my channel. I mean, I, I don't really. I've watched a lot of YouTube, and I don't really know of many more COD videos like this on YouTube. Well done, mate. Go and get one back. Um, I'm not going to say how many, but all, all you need to know is we're into double figures, like well into double figures. Um, it's it's been an amazing, amazing session on Chisel. We've got about an hour left. We're going to fish hard until then. Um, yeah, make sure you enjoy the video, guys. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already. There's a cracking bite there. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another episode at Chisel Beach. So today's Friday. The last two days Chisel's been absolutely battered by quite a big storm. I think 60 mile an hour winds was its peak uh, yesterday afternoon or yesterday evening. Um, it's to, oh, I walk mark here and there's another one up on that next bank. So it's it really did it really did hammer in. As you can see there's a massive drop off here, which none of us will be going down there today. Definitely not. Um, anyway. Water's filthy dirty, especially for Chesil. There's a lovely big swell. It is ideal cod conditions. So that's what we're here for. I got a big bucket of yellow towels from Darren. Literally last minute, I messaged him and he managed to help me out. It's a massive shout out to Darren. Thank you, mate. You've, you've proper made that trip, to be fair. Um, I've got a couple of, couple of wraps of blacks as well, but I, um, I'm going to be bang on the yellow towels today. I don't think you can beat yellow towels as bait for cod. Um, I'll, I'll go into depth a bit more about them later. Um, oh, we ain't even set up yet. I've literally just got here. So that's me, Matt, and Joe's with us. Um, Joe from Essex Foraging and Fishing, whose channel's now called Del Intrepid. He is with us, but he's been ill for the last few months, so he hasn't done much himself, um, which his, his health has taken a bright battering, um, which means he's, he's, he's still walking. Um, he just said, leave him to it, let him take his time, and he'll be cushy. But right now, guys, I want to get set up and get a rod in the wall because that is looking sexy. We're here all day, it's about 10 o'clock now. We're here till about six o'clock tonight before we make the move home. Um, but literally, we've had, the only reason we're here is because the weather's been spot on. We've jumped, jumped on it. Um, I understand not everyone can do that. Obviously, work and family commitments. But as this is partly my work, well, I do what I like <laughs> in the nicest sort of way. Um, it's busy and all the beach right up there. I normally like to walk a bit further along, but um, I couldn't get there. So it's going to have to do. It is what it is. I think we're just a little bit further up from the wreck from the Adelaide. Um, I think that's a little bit further down that way, but. Yes, right, without further ado, I'm going to get on and get some fishing done in a bit. Oh yeah, first chuck, chisel codling. Nothing big, but he's, a, he's alive. I know he's got a bit of blood, but he has just come through that big, horrible surf, and that wasn't really, really wasn't nice. It has taken, it has taken the top hook, which is a 2-0 Cato from Seaglow, um, because I've gone 4-0 and then 2-0 um, on the top, just because... I don't think I needed anything massive. Um, might have had a white in first chart. I've had a cod. Right, guys, I need to go. Oh, sorry, I need to go and get this on. I need both hands. I, um, I I'm going to do my best to get this little fella back. Um, and yeah, we'll try and get another one in a bit. Well, guys, I've been here. I've been here about half an hour. This is actually the first time I've sat down. Um, it's been manic, really. I've had codling, I've had a whiting, Matt's had a whiting. The bites are just ridiculous. There's, there's a big, big surge out there. There's a big, big, not, it's not surf, is it? It's like a, I don't know what to call it, really. You know what I mean, though. It's, it's acting up. It's not rough, it's just that big, big, well, it's like a big tidal surge, really. Um, the fella next to me on the other side had a little codling and I reeled mine in. So they are about. Um, I've got other friends fishing the beach. I've got some right down the bottom end at um, Portland. There was a 36 pound conga caught last night um, on the beach. Um, I've also got uh, James. You've seen a lot of you've seen James in, the, in, the, in my videos. I call him little James, but he's taller than me. Um, he and his friend Riley are up the other end, up that way towards Abbotsbury. They've had a load of fish, but at the moment they're fishing like scratching tactics, if you like, like. Um, Small hooks and um, small baits and things. This is my bait for the day, or some of it. I know you can't really see it. Let's get some out. 
some absolutely amazing yellow tails from Darren. Matt's, Matt's already taken half of them up there. I've got some here for Joe as well. Joe's gonna have some of these. Look at them, look. Does it get any better than that? Now, do you know what? A few months ago, I had a bit of a, a snotty comment on my YouTube channel, um, basically saying that, why well, I've always got the best bait and how do I get it? And it was a bit a bit of an arsey comment and saying that because I have so much good bait, I should have loads more fish and I should catch 20 pounders every time I go. Well, that's just not possible. You can only do what you can do. You can, you can, you can prepare yourself, but if the fish ain't there, you're not going to catch them. Um, and I like, especially when I'm doing a big trip like this, I mean, this is, this is 100 quid's worth of diesel to come down here between us lot. Um, and then obviously time as well, and I, I've lost of earnings of today, because I, I won't be doing any work, anything work-wise. You know what I'm getting at. I, I don't want to come down here with some ropey old bait that I found in the fridge or in the freezer. I want, I want the best bait that I can possibly have. Now, the plan, to, the plan wasn't to have these, because it was such a short notice trip, the plan was to just go digging and bring a load of commons. Um, well, I'm glad we didn't. I'm glad I rung Darren, that's what I was after. Um, I'm glad I rung Darren and I managed to get me some, to be fair. Um, a big shout out to my mate Joe. He gave me this as a good luck charm last year. Came into Medway Tackle and gave me a little cod badge. And I've, it's been in my tackle box ever since. It's always in my box. It's always with me. Um, yeah. So, yeah, like I say, you can only prepare yourself in the best way you can. It doesn't mean that you're going to win every time, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's all I bought with me today. I, I've got some blacks actually. When Darren was out pumping yesterday, some of the worms had popped themselves, and there was a few there that looked a bit ropey, so he, he blew them and wrapped them for me. Joe's got a couple of score of them as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, just quickly, so I mentioned in the last couple of videos about my scrap channel um, and that we've done really, really well. So I've been doing this channel, this channel, for about three, three and a half years now. And I've accumulated 16,000 subs, which again, I'm over the moon. Thank you guys. I, honestly, I, I couldn't have done it without you. And I couldn't have done it with the boys that are with me today. And the boys at Sam and, and Steve and Nathan, you know, everyone, my brothers. Um, but my scrap channel, it had 2,000 subscribers last week. I put that video on. It's had 145,000 views. That was this morning when I checked. Um... And it's gained me over a thousand subscribers, probably 1,200 subscribers actually now. Um, it's gone. It's just gone off. That for, for me, that's a little bit viral. My best video on my channel was 58,000 views, and that was us cod fishing at Whitby last year. Me and me and the Maddie man, me and Steve. Um, I just, I, I, God, that's going to be a big one. Jesus, Jesus, that is a really big one. Next one's going to be big too. Look at this coming up. See, I just can't quite believe that that video with only, with only a certain amount of subscribers has done so well. She's very angry. You wouldn't want to be going down that bank today. You really, really wouldn't. There's a codlin there washed up on the beach. Poor thing. Um, I don't know how well the fish will go back today. It might be a case of keeping them if they're sizable. They might just have to be kept so they're not wasted. Um... There's a lot of weed about as well, blowing up your line. Like this fella here, he's got a bit of weed blowing up his line. Right, I'm going to leave you to it now. And uh, I'll just quickly, rigs today, I'm trying something different. A rig I don't normally use. Um, I'm using an up and over. Now, they're a very, very common rig, very common rig, and a lot of people do use them. I just never have. I've normally used a pulley dropper. But today I thought I'll, I'll try the up and over, give it a go. Um, see if it makes a difference, and that's what I had my cod on to be fair That was what I caught my cod on so already. I love it, and I'll be making more Well they're here Joe's just had a dog fish, but we won't talk about that Joe. Eh? Oh, it's making me walk all the way down here now Oh, that's a nice not a bad fish that Matt it's bigger than mine oh, Yeah, all right, <laughs> not bad Have a look at her, mate. Beautiful. Mate, do you know what? People dream of coming to Chesil and catching a cod on their first go. Oh, it's, it's a cod lin, but it's a cod. Um, and I'm going to have to say, 
that getting the fish back, I think you're better off giving him a dunk on the head and sticking him in your bag. Because he is sizeable. Listen guys, it ain't great normally, I'd say that fish has got to go back really, because he's a bit small. But we've taken more and I'm smaller than that, and he's only gonna hit their wave and get washed up on the beach. So if you want to eat him, Matt, you might as well take him on. Nice. That's good. Uh, oh, nearly. I'll give him a kiss. Uh, that was a bit, a bit much, that. He used tongues. What a slag. What? Happy days. <clears throat> Joe, no pressure, mate. <laughs> Listen, if he can catch one at his 10 yard cast, you can catch one. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that's wicked news. That's what we're going for. I, I, I've got to admit, guys, today I am going to be greedy. I don't want these little ones. I had a lot of little ones like that last year. I've had a few this year already. Ideally, what I want today is something five pound. I want, I want a five pound, really. And then I'll be happy. Um, I'll be very happy with a five pounder. My PB cod's only six pound eight, so today is so possible to beat that here. So possible. Um, I don't think there's been that many big ones um, this year so far off a chisel, but I definitely know of a few sevens and eights and that, so it's very, very possible I could beat my PB today. The conditions for cod are perfect, and again, having two cod within the first half hour and 40 minutes proves that. Really does. Um, and we're not really even in the cod hotspot, if you like. We need to be further up, further up towards Abbotsbury that way, like in the middle of the beach, but this is the only place we could get in. I could have walked further and gone past everyone, but I didn't fancy that. I thought, no, this will do. So, happy days. He's only gone and done it again. Matty boy's on fire today. On fire. Two pods, one bass. Oh, we had a bass earlier. I completely forgot. The, I, couldn't, I couldn't get over it. I was dealing with other stuff. What rig's that on? Can't say. It's not a dongle. No. Oh, I was going to say. Good. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Happy days. Happy days. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. Oh. Wow. Chisel's fishing it. Absolute tits off. Crazy, crazy stuff. Nice joke. Very nice. Well, I'm shooting down the wall to Matt because he reckons he might have another fish, but I don't know now. Looks like it's gone light. He bloody has an all. He is on it, isn't he, today? Free, free cod for Matty boy and a white in. Live bait. I would run, but yeah, mate. Oh, it's not a white. It's a red. It's a red mullet. Oh, mate, I've never had one of them. Oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Hang on, mate. Let's have a little look at that. That's 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 fantastic, mate. I've never ever seen a red mullet. Oh, I've never never caught one. I've seen them, but I've never caught one. Have you? No. Look at that. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. You are smashing it today, son. Free cod. Was that just straight blacks? Uh, straight yellow, sorry. Straight yellows, boy. Nice one, mate. Nice one. I'm going to have to start chucking it short. <laughs> 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 That's, Joe, we've got a red mullet. Not a, it's not a white in. All right, guys. Matt's smashing it. Anyway, stuff, Matt. No one likes Matt anymore. Well, there's a different species. Absolutely cracking from Joe. Coalfish. We see a lot of these up north last year, and I know they do get the odd one on chisel, but yeah, to actually get one, um, yeah, I think it's great. So, so, so like seven different species we've had, yeah? Yeah, man. So, like, seven different species in two hours of fishing. Honestly, it is non-stop. If it's not whiting, it's cod. If it's not cod, it's coalfish. If it's not coalfish, it's red mullet. Um, I haven't actually had a dogfish yet, touch wood. <laughs> Joe, have you? Yes. Oh, Joe's had yeah, dogfish. Yeah. Joe's had plenty of fish, just ain't had no cod yet. Um, to be fair, it, I, I, my first codling was on straight blacks. Um, but, yeah, oh, what's that? Yeah, look, what is that? That's just come out of his mouth. Well, it's just, it's come out of one of my fish's mouth, some sort of sea lice thing. Looks like a pea bug, like a wood louse, but they're bigger. But that's been in a fish, because you can see it's, it's, it's like started to decompose. That is a funny looking little thing, isn't it? What is it, Joe? That is one of the seat. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. It looks more like a... Look at the mouth on that, look. Oh, he's full of them. I've got no idea. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, he's eating them. Yeah, he's been feeding them. He has been feeding loads of them. Oh well, happy days, people. We will bring you back. Right, guys. I'm getting annoyed with Matt now. He's had four. That one's a better one and all. Well done, Matt. That oh, he dropped it. That one is the biggest one he's had all day as well. Um, he's smashing it. He's absolutely smashing it today. Fair play to him. Buzzing. We just got to get Joe one. I've still only had one, but I'm, do you know what, I'm happy. I'm, I've come down to the catch cod. I don't care if I'm catching them or someone else is catching them, as long as someone's catching them. You know, that's the plan. That is the plan. Well, I need to sort this water out uh, again. Well, to be fair, it's not hard fishing. We are getting a bit battered up by these waves. There's a little bit of weed come up the line. As soon as you get a bit of weed come up the line, it makes the line sag. It starts burying in the shingles, so you have to be on it. There's none of this relaxing fishing. Sit down for 10 minutes, wait for a bite, reel it in. Because the tide, I don't think you can see my rod there. The tide, it's not tide, it's just this surge. It's pulling the rods backwards and forwards, and you get a bit of weed on it, and it pulls it out of the ground. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but... It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's very well fishable. I mean, this is, this is a flat, calm day for most people to fish here regularly. Um, it's just me being probably a bit of a bitch, really. Um, oh. But yeah, it's, um, there are bits of it you think, oh, for God's sake, I've just sat down. But if you want to get these fish, you've got to try, what, you've got to do what you can. There's still a bit of dirty water. I reckon it is going to probably clear out a bit, though. Looking up the beach, you can see. You can see the dirty water from the clearer water. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but yeah, plenty of anglers along here now. And I would have thought they're all probably catching cod. You got another one? Oh, shut up, Matthew. I'm going along here now. He ain't got another one. No. I've just, to be fair, guys, I've just dropped one. I had a cracking slack liner. He has an all, look. What an ass. Oh, guess look at that one, Joe. Oh, yeah, guess a look. Yeah, that's the biggest one of the day so far. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Happy days. <laughs> You're taking the piss, Matt. You're taking the piss. What did you say, lug tip squid? Is that that? Is that that packet of squid I gave you? What was left over from the other day? Uh, I reckon it is, mate. I reckon uh, I want my. I reckon I want my squid back. I can't let you ask that. I reckon I want my squid back. Another <laughs> bloody cod. Matt, he's smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Uh, six now. Five. No, I got five. Yeah, five, five. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, mate. I've got, it, I've got video footage. Don't try and mug me off. <laughs> oh, good lad. Buzzing for him. Absolutely buzzing. Um, you're not you're not invited anymore, though. You're not. Yeah, I know, yeah. We've got Matt. No one else is allowed out to play today. What was it? Just under three pound, that one, the bigger one. Lovely. That'll do. That'll do. Guys, oh, I honestly shoot you not. Uh, turn around that way, Matt. Number six. Number six. Look at that. Well done, mate. I'm very, very jealous, and I don't mind admitting it either, because everybody knows how much I love God. Well done, mate. That's bigger than the last one, I know, isn't it? No. No? no. I don't know. It might be a bit long, but not fat. State of them sausages. Look, it looks like something out of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Show me your finger. No, turn it over. Look, that actually looks like something out of The Walking Dead. Well, that mine don't look much better. <laughs> Was that lug of squid? Yeah. Nice. I'm coming over in a minute. Robbie squid, you prick. <laughs> oh, I've just shut. Well, we're just going to call this the Matt Channel because I, I swear to God, it's literally as well. His other rod's still leaning up his bivy from the last one he caught. So this is number eight, eight, seven. Number seven. And he's having them all on lug tip squid. But well, that's an even bigger one, isn't it? Mate, nice. Where's that squid? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that I'm, I'm robbing two of them. Oh. Definitely, definitely robbing a couple of them. You're going to get slapped in a minute. Don't worry about that. <sighs> You're tipping it off with Red Bull. <laughs> that's an even better one. Oh, nice. That's mate, that's a nice fish that one Matt. I know your rest. That's the big that's the biggest one, isn't it? I think so. Nah, I've still got a lot to come yet. I'm going, I've got some squid now in a bit. I honestly can't believe how many cod he's caught. That's unbelievable. Fair play. He must he's obviously in the right spot. Um 
because Joe's had none. I've only had one. Um, and that was, uh, well, we've probably been here two hours now, three hours. So, yeah, to have eight cod, I've never had eight cod in this session, ever, ever, ever. That's incredible fishing. Well done, mate. It's actually getting silly now. So Matt literally put his rod back out. He'd been out there a minute, two minutes, straight away, little codling. It's just, just ridiculous, honestly, people. I, I ain't never seen so many cod caught in one session. I honestly am, I am over the moon for Matt to be smashed. Look at him, <laughs> he's a knob. I'm over the moon for him, I really, really am. I'm very jealous of him, but I'm over the moon for him. Fair play, I've just got to get another one now. I want Joe to get one as well. I'd really like to see Joe get one. Um, either way, I'm happy, do you know what I mean? I've seen a good day, I've made a good video for you guys, whether it's me catching the fish or my pals catching the fish, it is what it is. It's one of them things. Matt's obviously in the spot. There must be a bit of rock or something out there. I don't know, a bit, a little bit of ground, what they're just congregating on. Um, whether, whatever it may be, Matt's, Matt's it in the spot and he's, he's having it off, so fair play. And it's done. Absolutely buzzing now. We've all had a cod. Joe's just had one. Let's go and have a look at it. It's a nice fish too. Again, they're not massive, I know, but for the size we are getting, the size we have been getting, they're all around the two, three pound mark, which, what a good eating fish. Give us a look, Joe. Right. Yeah, man. Not bad. Blinding. Turn around. Let me get. Let me. Let me get you in the sun. Yeah. Of course I have. Oh, I ain't had eight. Tilt her up a little bit. Yeah, man. Wicked. Not bad. I'm happy with that. Yeah. No. Good. We've all done it now. We've all done it, boys. Exactly what we came for. Right now, can I go back to whiting fishing now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I ain't having a dog. No way am I having a dog. Oh well, that's that's it. It's made a date. We've all had one. Now I've got five or six hours left of the trip to just sit back and relax, really. And if if we all catch another one, we all catch another one. If we don't, we don't. It's um, it's one of them. Don't get me wrong. I still would really like to catch a decent size one, like a five pounder. Um, but. We can't be greedy. Wind's picked up a bit, but it is meant to be dying off again later. So, yeah, sorry if there's any wind noise, guys. So, Matt's over there now, unhooking number, cod number nine. Yeah, look, there it goes. Oh, mm, he's just about to go and put it back. Nine cod in a session. Uh, and again, we've been fishing, f what's the time now? Time is quarter to two. So we got here about, we started fishing probably about 11 o'clock. So, under three hours. No, oh, hang on. Yeah, quarter to yeah in under three hours. Maybe maybe about three hours fishing time we actually started. Quarter to eleven, something like that. That's honestly that's that's some bloody going that is. Um, I'm I'm absolutely buzzing for him to be fair. Absolutely buzzing. Again, I am gutted. I, I'm not gutted. Jealous. Je jealous, but only like a. A comedy jealous if you like I'm glad it's my mate do you know what I mean and, and I've had one it's not like I'm sitting here blanking or sitting here just catching dogfish and he's catching all the cod I've had one Joe's had one so yeah uh, one of them it's one of them I've just cracked off put out a third rod and then cracked off so I think yeah I'm gonna stick with two just um yeah just had to pick the birds nest out as you do so that'll be going in the uh, in the box um, another thing about the old line a lot of tackle shops now Let's put it in my box. A lot of tackle shops now have got line bins. I know Medway Tackle have, um, and I know there's a couple of other tackle shops that have. Um, so if you, all your old line, if you take it to your tackle shop or somewhere, you can find them online. I'm sure it's the Angling Trust that have put them up. Um, there's actually a proper place to get your line recycled. I don't think it's reused, but it's, it's disposed of properly. It's not going to end up in landfill. It's going to get tangled around a seagull's foot or something, or, um, or tangled around a dolphin. It's disposed of properly not just not just cut and put in a bin so put in landfill it's, it's it's yeah it's the way to do it i think guys it's the way to go forward um yeah happy days one thing i will will say even after the big storm there's not a lot of rubbish on the beach i think i found one little bit of plastic actually um which joe's got because it was near joe um and i let, let him have it but i know he'll pick up his rubbish so yeah no it's um for the, for the amount of people that have been fishing the beach the last few weeks, I mean, all right, the storm might have taken it all away and it might all now be in the drink. But, um, yeah, I think fair play to everyone. Well done for picking up your rubbish. There you go, guys. He's done it. Number 10. <laughs> Get in. 
It looks to be the smallest of them all, but it don't matter. Double figure numbers. Double figure cod at Chesil. How about that, eh? That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. No, none of us thought, none of us thought today that, that that would happen. Like, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it was always a chance of maybe getting 10 between us, but Matt's been greedy and had them all. 12 cod between us, that's absolutely amazing. I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. Well, guys, I don't do this very often, and that's film a whiting on my channel, but that, that's a monster whiting. Oh, oh he's lumped himself and all. Look at that. It's over 40 centimetres long. That's a monster whiting. Look at that. As long as my box. I thought it was coddling when I see it. Come on, he's got a blade stone in his mouth. Sorry, mate. Let's get that out. That's it. That is an absolute cracking white in that. Cracking white. Listen, we don't want too many. And I don't know if there is such a thing as a cracking white in, but they've got some gunners, haven't they, that my white in? Monstrous. What? Right, get him back. Get him under. Don't even see a bite on that. That's a big white in, though. I'll take that. Is it, listen, if that was all that big, you wouldn't mind, would you? You wouldn't mind. Whoa, look at that. She's, she's, oh, Jesus. That was a big one. <laughs> Joe's got closer to the water. Look, there's another good in there, look. Best time to get this white back, I think. Go on, mate, away you go. Bloody hell. That was a bit scary, that one. Jesus. This is why you never go down the bank of Chesil. Never. Jesus, look at that. She's mean. She is mean. Wow. Such an incredible place, this beach. Honestly, it's such an incredible place. All right, bait it up and get it back out there, I suppose. Joe's got another one. That's number... Um... 13, I think. Yeah, number 13 between us. Max obviously had 10 of them. Um, I had one. One. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Joe! Oh, he has got one, honest. He's just done looking at it. I would walk over there, but I'm chilling. I've moved the rods closer to me now. Oh, that is a bit close, isn't it? Move the rods right up close to me now. It's, um, show us your fish! We can just about see that. Yeah, no, happy days. We saw that. We can see the town. It's definitely a godlin. Oh, mate. What a session, guys. What a session. Um, I think, if you haven't subscribed, it definitely, definitely deserves a sub, doesn't it? Surely. Don't see many videos like this. Not with this amount of coddlin. Um, buzzing with it, I am. Really buzzing. Fella down there looks like he's into a fish as well. Oh, let's keep rolling. Let's, st let's steal someone else's fish for the camera. What's he got there? Go on, mate. Wind, 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 wind. You can't see, sorry. I was looking at this fella here. What's he got? Oh, he still hasn't pulled it in. That there looks flat to me. Looked like a flatfish. Don't know what it was. My, I don't know. That was a strange fish. Might have been a, uh, might have been a pouting actually. Might have been a pouting. Anyway, I will bring you guys back. Go and do a live reeling with uh, with Joe. Means it feels like a better one. Um, hopefully it is. Still there, Joe? Oh no! Oh, hang on. That is a monster whiting again. The size of it. Oh, it's only a whiting, but. You what, mate? I'm expecting much better than that. I'm probably getting tired. Probably it felt getting. Really bigger, <laughs> she said it felt really bigger as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, happy days. Happy days. Well, it's hard to turn in now. It's starting to go out. Um, which I spoke to, to a mate of mine who's up the further up the beach, James, and uh, they said that 
They reckon halfway down, down the low water is going to be the best time. But we're going to we're going to be sort of packing up about six. Um, half, well, I might give it till seven. The car park runs out at seven forty, I think, tonight. So we'll probably give it till seven. Try and get an extra hour out of it. I've gone back to being greedy and gone back to three rods now. Um, it's just because why not? It was sitting there. I um, got the birds and start, retired the shock leader, and I just thought, Do you know what? Well, why not? I've got the bait. I've got the bait, so we might as well give it a go. Right, if anything happens, I'll um, I'll obviously bring you back, guys. Another one for the fish hunter. About bloody time and all. So as Matt's been doing well on lug and squid, I um, Joe had a couple of squid, so I went and nicked a couple off of him, and I don't even see that down its mouth. One single yellow and a whole squid banded to it. Um, literally 30 yard lob, in close because I've noticed Matt's shortened his casting. I've been watching him. He's being a snidey little Russian. Um, but yeah, how amazing is that? Beautiful, beautiful fish these are. I'll get this one unhooked and get it back in the water. Oh, we must stop meeting like this, whiting on my videos. Um, Joe's just had this whiting. It's just a bit of interest, guys. So this, these little sea lice things, whatever they are, look like little armadillos, was what was in that coal fish's mouth earlier. There was loads of them in there. Um, and this one's obviously having a right old munch on this whiting. Obviously we're gonna get rid of it. Um, and uh, yeah, chuck it back. Bit sharpish. Just thought I'd show you it guys, it's something a bit different, isn't it? Whiting are coming up lump so. Nice size of whiting if you was into eating whiting. Number 10, 12, 15, number 15 guys. Number 15 this is. That's our 10, you've had three and I've had two. 15 11. cod. He's got 11, didn't he? Oh no, 11, so 16. Yeah, 16. 16 cod. cod. Jesus Christ. Well done, Joe. Baby, but yeah. Was that close in, far I out? I can't remember, it's dark. I can't remember where it's going. Close in, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got another one, have you? Uh, you ain't got another one, have you? Not yet. Good, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, white people, I will speak to you in a bit. Bloody hell. Guys, another monster white, and this was honestly nodding like a god all the way in. You'd never believe it. Another, another, well, box size white, and look at it. It's, I can't believe it. It's so big. That's another, that's another 40 centimetre white, in. E easy. Um, to be honest, that was probably my last choke in that rod. I've got one more rod still out there. Joe's packing up. We've, um, a whole bucket, bucket of yellows, that's what I've got left. It's been, honestly, it's been manic fishing today. It's been manic. There's been so many fish. Obviously, I haven't recorded everything. I've recorded most of the cod, I think. Um, I'm pretty certain we're ending the day on 16, maybe 17. Um, yeah, so, yeah, what a bloody good day. Got some rubbish there. Oh, I was waiting for this water to come in so I can get this whiting back, hopefully. Go on, dude, where you go. Guys, if you're fishing chisel, please, please be careful. Right, the tide now is three hours down. Three hours down it is from my water. And it, even now still, it's coming up and coming over the top of this beach every now and again. So whatever you do, if you fish it over the next couple of days and you've got this big bank, do not go down that bank. It's just not worth it. It really, really ain't worth it. Um, if you don't think you can get the fish back safely, take it home. If you don't eat fish, give it to, give it to someone. You might, everybody knows someone that what will take a bit of fresh fish. 100%. Um, yeah, what? Well, I don't know. What a day. All right, mate, you going, yeah? Guys, I'll bring you back.